Do you think people respect you? Do you respect yourself? Do you show self-love? Okay. Usually, you can't really show self-love unless you have respect for yourself. Today, we're going to talk about some simple ways to make sure that you're showing yourself respect and therefore telling others that you demand respect with your actions and your behaviors and personality. Respect starts with you, and it's not something you earn. It's something you deserve simply because you're here, you're alive, and you're human. Every living being is worthy of respect, including you, what self-respect looks like. Or maybe someone was just really negative to you and convinced you otherwise. But I'm here to tell you, none of it is true. You deserve self-respect. You deserve respect. Care of you starts with valuing who you are. Respecting yourself lays the foundation for everything else, including love. After all, like I was saying, self-love does not happen without self-respect. It's just not possible. So remember, start with respect and know that you're worth it. Sometimes it can feel difficult to show yourself respect. You might have had past relationships that didn't work out. You might have been conditioned to somehow think you're not worthy of it. Sometimes we just don't know what it looks like. And that's okay because the first step is always awareness. And once you realize these barriers to showing yourself self-respect, you can start breaking them down and redefining respect on your terms. No matter where you've been or what you've been told, the truth is you're worthy of respect every day. So let's talk about five ways we can show respect starting right now. Number one, speak kindly to yourself. Negative self-talk happens so easily and so automatically sometimes. I know I could be a very, very strong self, negative self-talker, and it's not good. It's something I'm definitely working on. So we want to start catching ourselves, being aware of it, and catching it and stopping it and rephrasing the thought to a positive statement. So, for example, if, you, if you're critical of yourself and you say, oh, I'm so bad at this, you can change that around to I'm always improving and I'm learning all the time or I'm learning and improving. That's probably easier. I'm learning and improving. So see, see how good that feels. Go ahead and say it with me. I'm learning and I'm improving. Doesn't that feel better? Yeah. So kind words make a huge difference and negative self-talk is really bad. Number two, honor your needs. Very important. Respecting yourself means listening to your body, holding yourself as a priority, not how someone else feels over what you feel. Respecting yourself means listening to what your body, mind, and spirit all need. So if you're someone that has usually tuned into what others need and not yourself, this is a new concept, and you're going to start listening to what your body is telling you, what you need. 
How do you feel and what do you need to feel better? If you're feeling tired, take a rest. If you're feeling overwhelmed, say no to an extra commitment. If you're feeling inspired, go for that passion project you've been wanting to do. When your needs are honored, you send a message to yourself that you are valuable and deserving of care and other people see it too. It also makes us feel better and people see that too. It becomes this whole snowball effect. Number three, celebrate your wins. No matter how big or small, your accomplishments are always worth celebrating. Did you stick to a boundary? Did you speak up for yourself? Did you finish that project you were working on? Take a moment to acknowledge your efforts and give yourself credit. This simple practice reinforces that you're worthy of recognition and respect from you most of all. Four, let go of toxic relationships. Think of this as creating a safe and loving space around your time and energy. For example, if a friend invites you to dinner and you are maybe in the past you would go and the next day you would be regretting it. Now, if you're feeling that tired, let them know you really want to see them, but let's pick another day because you're not feeling up to it. Respect your body. Respect how you're feeling. And that sends the message to respect you to everybody else. If that friend keeps trying to push you to go anyway, make sure you did mention that you do want to see them and you just are feeling too exhausted. Offer that alternative day. Remember, saying no is not being selfish. So tell yourself that as you are letting them know you're too tired. You don't have to go into a long explanation. And you're showing them how respect is, it's not something you wait for others to give you. It's something that starts with how you treat yourself. Sometimes it can feel tough to respect yourself. It might be because you were not raised with the best role models for this. Or maybe we were conditioned into thinking that we're not worthy. Awareness is the first step. Once you recognize these barriers, you can start breaking them down and redefining respect on your terms. No matter where you've been or what you've been told, you are worthy of respect every single day. Take good care and namaste.